Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So in my previous video, I covered uh, conditional statement and uh, now we will go to iterative statements. So iterative statements are basically the statements, the iteration is basically uh, executing the statement or set of statements again and again. Suppose we want to do repetitive task, in that case iteration can help us. Suppose for example, we, I want to print my name five times or six times. We can directly use print command, print shilpi, five times, six times, seven times. But if we want to print it hundred times or thousand times, so we can use looping system in which that particular print shilpi will be executed 500 times, thousand times, ten thousand times or whatever we feel like. Means basically iteration is a uh, process in which it is a statement which helps you to execute any statement or set of statements multiple times. Multiple time. That is also known as loop. So there are two types of loops. Loops are of two types. The first one is conditional and second one is counting. So conditional loop is, is a kind of loop in which the, the statements get executed till a particular condition is true. While counting loop is a state, it is a type of loop in which the statements get executed the number of time we have defined 10 times 5 times or 6 times it should be executed means uh, beforehand only we are aware that how many times loop will get executed so the example of counting loop is for loop and conditional loop is while loop so basically while is used when we are not aware how many times the loop will get executed. Like the set of uh, example, the set of statements get executed. Uh, and counting loop that is for loop is a loop which is used when we know how many times the loop will get executed. So, uh, we will before we start with for loop, I will tell you what is a range function. So, range function it is a function which when this range function is called it will return the list of integers uh, uh, beginning from the start till end start and end and this is inclusive and this is exclusive How inclusive? Suppose I am writing range 1 to 5, 1 to 5. So it will return a list. Range, the output of range function is always a list. It will return a list of integer starting from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Upper limit is exclusive. That is, this is this will not be returned by range function. So suppose we are writing range 1 to 9 so it will return the list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so there is by default step value so in range range we have start argument end argument and then the last one is step if we are not mentioning step value by default step is 1 you must have learned step counting when you are you were in primary section so this is just like step counting only so step value when we are not mentioning the step default step value is 1 so if you want you can write the step value 2 in that case it will start from 1 as step value is 2 it will jump 2 steps 3 5 7 and as 9 9 is the last value which is not inclusive. So, it will return this. Similarly, if I have a step value of 3, suppose, then it will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this much only. So, similarly, we have step value of, we have negative step values also. So, if we will use negative step value, 
so this will not return anything because it is starting from 1 and ending till 9 so obviously this cannot move in negative so if we want negative step value so this should be larger and this should be smaller and suppose minus 1 so this will result in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and 2 is not inclusive suppose this step value is minus 2 in that case this will result in the list of 10 8 6 4 2 2 is not inclusive so till 4 in this way range function works Another thing which you should revise, I have already explained about in operator and not in operator in my previous video. Still, we will just quickly revise it. Suppose we are working on a list. So, if we are writing, if, suppose, suppose A is equal to 2, if A in 2, 3, 4, in that case, if we are using in operator, means if A is present in this list, it will this will return in true. After that, statements will be there, but in operator will result in true or false. It will show whether this particular variable is present in this list or not. Similarly, we have not in operator, it will return true if this value is not present in this not in so it will present it will display false why because a is present in this that is why not in will result in false now we'll go to for loop now for loop is a counting loop that is used when we know number of times the statement is to, is to be executed so the uh, syntax is for this is a keyword and we have to use variable any variable in range whatever range you want to give followed by colon and then block of four like suppose i want to print one to ten numbers so we have to use for any variable i in range 0 to 10 or 1 to 11 1 to 11 so this is basically the uh, the number of times loop is to be executed this is number of times from here we can know the number of times the loop is to be executed so for i in range 1 to 11 followed by colon and after this the block of a4 should be there means till the condition is true till the count is over what all statements are to be executed should be in this indent you can see the space between this f and this so when you will press enter so automatically your cursor will come here it means now your block of or begins so we will simply write print i so the output will be 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10. Upper limit is exclusive. Similarly, if we want, we can print in step value also. So, in this case, what will be printed? 1, step value, 3, step value is 2, 5, 7, 9 and 11 is exclusive. So, 11 will not be printed. Similarly, if I want to print reverse counting, so we can write 10 to 0 and minus 1. So, what will be printed? It will start from 10, minus 1, 9, minus 1, 8, minus 1, 7, minus 1, up to 1. So, this will be printed. Now, this is reverse loop. Now, suppose... A simple example is, suppose we want to print a table of any variable entered by the user. So, the first example, 
suppose you want to uh, print the table of any number entered by the user suppose for example i have written here x is equal to int input enter number suppose i have entered here 3 now it will come here for i in range 1 to 11 so how many times this loop will work 10 times 1 to 10 upper limit is exclusive it will come here it will print x x the value of x is 3 so this is the output value of x is 3 after 3 comma is there comma is separator so one space will be left after that cross that is inverted commas may whatever you are writing that will be printed as it is on the screen so x will be printed after that i so value of i is first time the value of i will begin from 1 in first iteration the value of i is 1 after that equal to after that x into i x is 3 i is 1 3 ones are 3 after that as step value is by default 1 so the value of i is now 2 so it will come here 3 into 2 is equal to 6 in third iteration the value of i will be 3 so x is 3 cross will be as it is value of i is 3 is equal to 9 and so on till 3 into 10 is equal to 30. Now I will quickly demonstrate this on my laptop. So my dear students now you can see I have written a program to demonstrate the use of for loop. So the first for loop for i in range 1 to 10. So this range will return numbers from 1 to 9. It will return a list of 1 to 9 and that can be accessed by i. So when we are printing i in that case so the first, initially the value will be 1. After that as there is no third argument means there is no increment step value so by default step value is 1 so in i the numbers will be from 1 to 9 i'll show you function f5 so you can see the output now So this is the output you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This was the output of first for loop. Now second for loop. Uh, one more thing as I have already told you end is an argument of print which will work as a uh, end operator means uh, at the end what if it we are not mentioning double equal to this will be printed in next line means the i will be printed in next line i'll show you if i'll remove this then in that case i will be printed in next line you can see here 1 to 9 because end was not there so by default end is new line so the output will be printed in new line so i'll put end the next for loop is for i in range 0 to 220 and we have given step value here when step value is given means the i will start from 2 then 4 then 6 then 8 now i'll show you the output function f5 you can see the second output that is 2 to 4 6 8 up to 18 20 is exclusive now the next loop is Next loop is um, reverse loop 10 to 1 and up to, uh, 10 to 1 and step value is minus 1. So this will not include 1. It will go up to 2. You can see in the output it will go up to 2. So if I want to include 0 also 1 and 0 also in this case if I want to include 0 also so we have to go up to minus 1 you can see here output it will display up to 0 if i want to display up to 1 then i'll make the last value as 0 so you can see the output will be up to 
1. If the condition doesn't matches, suppose in this case I'll put the step value minus 1, so output will be different. You can see here function f5, you can see the output is now the first line is not printed, it is empty because the, uh, the, the condition doesn't match, the loop will not execute. Now, the second program is the program of a table of any number. So, x is equal to int input, enter a number. This is the number uh, for which you want to find the table, uh, display the table. For i in range, 1 to 11 means it will go from 1 to 10. So, what we want to print x, that is the number cross, it is a string that will be printed as it is on the screen. The value of i, which will change every time with the step value 1 and x into i means the number, suppose 4, 4 into 1, 4 into 2, 4 into 3, 4 into 5 up to 4 into 10. So, I will run this program. You can see the output. Enter a number, suppose 8. You can see the table here. So, my dear students, I hope you understood the basic of for loop. So, in my next video, I will I'll cover more examples of or so that your clear concept is more clear. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you and have a nice day.